Integrating voice flow with Instagram or Facebook Messenger can be a challenging task, but I've made a lot of videos showing you guys how to do it. But today, I'm finally going to be sharing the template with you guys. So all you need to do is go down into the resource hub, uh, sign up to our free resource hub, and you're going to be able to download this many chat template right here. I'm going to explain to you guys how exactly to set it up and what you need to do to make sure that everything runs smoothly. So I'm going to run through the flow really quick. As I said, if you guys go to the resource hub down below and you import our many chat template, you're going to have this right here. Um, Basically, the way it works is that when you have a trigger event uh, for an Instagram DM, for example, um, the last reply field, which is the reply that we sent back to the user in the end, is set to zero. We then check if the user exists inside of VoiceFlow. Important to note is for all of these things, you're going to have to change your API key and you're going to have to change your ver version ID, which is either development or production. Um, you're also going to have to make sure that all of these variables are set up correctly, right? So that the code that we have works um, perfectly. So make sure all these variables are set up correctly. So that's the first step. We're going to check if the user exists. Um, if the user exists, so if the variable that we get back has any value, we're going to send a message to that user, uh, send a message to voice flow and then get the reply back. If not, we're going to start and launch a request, which is the following. As I said, all you need to do is change your API key from voice flow and your version ID. All the code and everything is already going to be implemented inside of the template, which you get. Then after we launch the chat, we're going to send the message to voice flow to get a reply back again, change your version ID, change your API key of voice flow. This is going to stay the same for you and make sure that the last reply variable is set for the response mapping. Now here's the part, which I also explained in the last video, which is an important bug fi fix. If somebody sends a message on Instagram with a paragraph, it won't work. So then your last reply variable will not change because this, this request cannot be sent. The reason being is because inside of the body, we have the last text input variable, which is the message that the user sent you. And if this has paragraphs, it messes up the code and the code doesn't function anymore. So if the last reply is not zero, that means we got back a, re a reply and then we're simply going to send out the message to the user. If the last reply is zero, that means it didn't work and the message has a paragraph. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an external request for a Google app script. Uh, you go to script.google.com, create a new project. You put in this code right here. Everything's going to be in the resource hub for you. So don't worry about copying it. Um, you then deploy it, new deployment, and you deploy it as a web app. That's important. Deploy it as a web app. Um, then you're basically going to put in your script code over here. And at the end, you're going to put last text input exactly like this format, but you're going to get this template anyway. So just adjust your URL. Um, then in response mapping, you're going to have a new variable called processed input. That's going to be the adjusted input from the last text input, which you have. This processed input is then sent to voice flow again, again, change your API key, change your version ID. And the body is going to be processed input in this case, because that's the input without the paragraph so that everything works. Um, and the response mapping is going to send the response to the last reply variable, which is then sent out the user. So that is our voice flow, many chat integration without Zapier. Um, all of this is going to be shared in the resource hub. All you need to do is give us your email and you're going to have access to this and all future templates, scripts, codes, which we upload also for Instagram outreach, which my partner Sada is doing. Uh, you're going to get all of that access over there, um, as well as this code right here. So you're going to have this imported, just change your version ID, change uh, your API key, make sure you have all the uh, variables set up correctly, um, and make sure you have a Google app script launch. And that's all you need to successfully integrate voice flow with Instagram DMs or Facebook Messenger. If you found any value in this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and join our resource hub to make sure that you get this template. See you guys soon.